Hi everyone, hope you are doing well from wherever you're watching this channel, depending on your time zone. Now today, on Tuesday, 27th September 2022, President William Sameruto has chaired his first cabinet meeting at State House in Nairobi. Remember, this was a full cabinet meeting, meaning that all the cabinet secretaries have attended that meeting. And this meeting is coming at a time when Kenyans are anticipating to see how William Samuel Ruto is going to name his cabinet. They are waiting for naming. Because, as you can see, the cabinet meeting today has comprised of the current cabinet secretaries who were appointed into office by the retired president, Uhuru Megai Kenyatta. <laughs> and uh, among the people who have attended this meeting include the Interior CS Fred Matiangi, Treasurer CS Yatani, ICT CS Mcheru, Agriculture CS Munya, and by the way, Munya <laughs> is trending. I don't know why Munya is trending after that meeting, but maybe if you have an idea, you can tell me in the comment section why is CS Peter Munya trending on social media. We also have Defense CS. Uh, Omanwa. We also have the energy CS Monica Juma, among other people. And the question Kenyans are asking today after this um, cabinet meeting is that why is Ruto still working with the team that has been working with the Uhuru Kenyatta, rather than bringing his team to start his new journey. <laughs> we want to answer that question, but I just want to go through the post that was shared by the State House, Kenya. President William Ruto is currently chairing his first cabinet meeting, State House, Nairobi. That is what they posted, and they shared a number of photos. Of course, that's what uh, media is grabbing, May, even mainstream media, they are just grabbing and try to share the information out. Now, before we go into the reason why Ruto is still keeping Uhuru Kenyatta's cabinet at work, I just have a quick request. You might be watching this channel, but you have not yet subscribed, so my humble request, please consider subscribing so that another time, once you release a video like this one, you will always get notified. Again, to all our channel subscribers and any no drop comment, I must thank you so much for your unconditional support. Again, I'm requesting you to give our video a thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend our videos to more viewers. Before I give my view, I just want us to go through a few posts. There is something Tayanguni shared yesterday before Guru. So before Ruto called for this cabinet meeting. But then there is also something Senator Kiprotich Arab Cheregain has shared. And of course it looked like a, a kind of a mockery. But first of all, let us go through what Mtainguni shared. For the North time, it does not go wrong. It starts wrong. Ruto should purge government and then form his own. After bandit attack, he will track, he will attract terror, terror, terror attack. He is fragile but arrogant. We need a Ruto government. Now, the agency is loud. We need a Ruto government. Agency is loud and he's linking this issue to the terror attack that has happened to the men in uniform. But now this is what Chiraragé posted. His Excellency Ruto is chairing his first cabinet meeting. Interestingly, Matiani, Munya, Tobiko, Mucheru, Omalwa, Amina and Balala are attending. The man they campaigned against is their boss, Lazima Inauma Sana. These two posts Is also explaining the reason why 
Ruto has kept Uhuru Kenyatta cabinet rather than purging them and uh, forming his own government. What uh, Professor Mtaingu is talking about is part of this. And what Chalala Jai is talking about is also part of this. I'm saying this because basing on what Mtaingunya is sharing. As of now, we are still facing a very hard economic situation in this country. Ukiuliza kila mtu yoyote mambo na mnaga, hata ukisalamia tu mtu anakuambia maisha mbaya. Mtu anakuambia nimelala njaa. Mtu anakuambia kwamba life is too much expensive to afford. So we are in a hard situation as of now. And when when William Samuel Ruto governs law on naming his cabinet and keep on working with the Uhuru Kenyatta's cabinet, it means he wants these cabinet secretaries to help him carry the burden that he's having as of now of the hard situation we are having in this country. Wakati unasema ya kwamba unga imepanda bay, unaangalia cabinet na unaangalia Ruto unaona timu yako nayo. So he still want to put the issue of i'm still taking i'm still uh, receiving handover from this government because that is what they will keep on telling kenyans that we are in handover process <laughs> and because of that that's why we are still planning on how to deal with this issue so you will be told go slow we are still handing over we are still taking over government and the other team is still handing over but if not, if Uhuru will have, Ruto would have constituted his cabinet as of now, people will be asking him, you told us internet, give us the internet. You told us about affordable life in this country. We need to see you lowering the food price of items in this country. The delay is here because of this. Look on the attack that they have as of now. Who is the interior CS? Fred Matian. So you share the blame because Ruto took a government at a time when he, is, he was not even prepared on how he's going to govern. It has even become a hard thing for him to make a decision on the choice of kind of cabinet he would want to have. <laughs> because he will need a strong man like Fred Matian who can work for him, someone like Peter Munya who can work for him. So you cannot just rush into that issue. That's why you are seeing the delays are here. Hmm? Number two, there is the issue of women leadership in this country. He said he's going to give 50% to women. I told you in one of our previous videos it is very hard, but he will try. And if you look in the team that Uhuru Kenyatta worked with, we have women who are not even playing politics. They never sided with either side, neither Uhuru nor Ruto or Raila. They are here. Akina Monica. And the team. So Ruto is still thinking, should I do away with all of this and bring in new team? And if I'm bringing a new team here, okay, live people ni kama Alice Wahome. Aisha Juma and Asemanga I don't know how she is going to work. So Ruto is still trying to get the women who can fit and do the work for him. That's why you are seeing this delay. There is push and pull. How is he going to reward Alfred Mutua and leave Johnson Mudama? How is he going to deal with the issue of Mount Kenya region? Akina Mosa Skulia Wakohapa and there are people who have been dying for UDA part. Msalia Mudabadi is waiting for the office. Western, they are waiting for seven slots. Coast region, they are waiting to see how he is going to treat them. And of course, Rift Valley need their share in this government. So, it has become a hard decision for Ruto to make as of now. That's why he's going slowly so that he will figure out on how he he will get in the new team whereby he will make sure in as much as new team is balancing so that the face of Luo Nyanza and the Nyanza region at large is in that team. You come to Western, 
you go to Nyanza, uh, sorry, Rift Valley, you go to Coast, you go to Mount Kenya region, everywhere. So it is something that has become like a <laughs> hard knock to crack for William Samoy Ruto. So I want to share the blame. And lastly, what Shiragai is talking about, you keep them around you so that you can humiliate them. Someone like Fred Matiang was campaigning against William Ruto. Peter Muna is trending because he was against and he was really campaigning with Mother Karua everywhere. You could see the presence of Peter Munya. So keep them around and humiliate them. They can feel your power. Those who have been leading the cabinet, those who have been given the duties that you are supposed to do, come up with Matiang, now is sitting in your cabinet and referring to you as Mr. President, sir. Your Excellency. So this team that was working with William Ruto, uh, sorry, with President Uru Kenyatta, and uh, largely they were supporting Uru, like, someone like Eugene Wamalwa, well, the Bishara Sana. So you keep them around eh, and try to intimidate, humiliate, so that they can, <laughs> you know, they can refer to you as Your Excellency. In as much they were against you. So to me, the two posts is fitting on some of the reason why Ruto has kept this cabinet here for long. What Mtai Nguyen is talking about, the blame and the issue, constitute your own government so that you can take full blame. He's delaying that. Number two, what Hirage is trying to share here, humiliate them, make them look bad. Let people talk about them so that it will be seen as wale ambao wali kudharau sasa wanakueshimu. Those are the things that Ruto was looking for, in my own view. Sijiwe wanafikiriaje, but we can continue this conversation through the comment section. See you in our next video.